Welcome to another DHC. My name is Ultra David. Today we're going to be going over Ultra Street Fighter 4. As you probably know, it's out in Japan. It's out in the arcades. I guess other places could have it, but as far as I know, it's only in Japan. So all the footage that we've gotten so far has come from Japan. And that has been uh, quite a bit. There have been streams, there have been things uploaded to YouTube. Uh, what I'm going to look at today is what was a stream that is now uploaded to YouTube. And it's from... Ubiken. Uh, if you're not aware of Ubiken, uh, it's something that um, it's Y U B I K E N. They have streams for Street Fighter 4 now for Ultra, as you can see. Uh, they also upload. They're at Twitch.tv/Ubiken, YouTube.com/Ubiken. I think also Twitter.com/Ubiken. Uh, I'll have links to all that stuff down below. Where uh, you know you should really check them out. They have live stuff. They have recorded stuff. Lots of top players. Um, today, what I'm going to be going over is, is just, you know, they're hanging out at, at an arcade. They're watching people play Ultra. A little bit of commentary going on, including uh, in English from Kim, uh, an American who's living in Japan, and, as well as in, J in Japanese. Uh, but I'm just going to mute all that <laughs> instead. Um, I'm just going to be talking about stuff. So I'm going to be looking for, you know, see what's new. If there's anything that I think is cool, I, I've briefly gone over this. Uh, not very much in detail, just like quickly to see which characters are involved. Uh, I'm going to go over, I mean, they did this for like a long time. There's like many hours that they uploaded to YouTube, but I think I'm only going to do an hour at most, maybe an hour and a half. We'll see how much I do before I get bored. Anyway, let's jump into this. I'm starting it at part two completely arbitrarily, so it's not actually a part one, which means that we're going to hop in right into the middle of a match between a Ken and a Gao player starting now. And it starts out with EX Sonic Boom. Um, basically, uh, I'm just looking to see like what's new, if anything cool happens. I think that's supposed to do more damage. Ken's Ultra 1, although it doesn't kill. And then he screws up the setup. I don't think there was a delayed wake up there. But you can see the delayed wake up from Ken. So whenever it says technical, after what is a hard knockdown, like a sweep or you know, certain special moves or throws, supers, ultras, Usually, in previous well, in previous versions of the game, you haven't been able to do any kind of variation on your wake up. But now you see it says technical there as Guile gets up. Uh, it also says technical if you get a you know throw tech. So I guess they just recycled that. But um, now you can delay your get up on hard knockdowns too, and that kind of you know, changes things as far as the setups go. You know, Street Fighter 4 has become a very setup heavy kind of game. Lots of setups uh, as meaties, and definitely part of the goal was to change that in, in Ultra. Get rid of unblockables that way, but also just get rid of, or at least make people think about set plays rather than playing so autopilot. Something I'm cool with, I, like, I like that, but I know lots of people don't. So. In the meantime, this Ken player takes it over 690 BP Guile. Already 23,000 BPs for a Ken. I have no idea how that's calculated. Maybe that's super easy. I don't know. So, remember, they're playing in the arcade, so it goes back to the uh, actual like arcade mode in between. So when I was first watching this through a little bit, I saw like a Hugo pop up and I was like, yeah, Hugo's coming in, but then it was just the CPU. And I saw Dalsim and same deal. <laughs> so it's gonna be Barlog. And look at that character select screen, it's so big. So many characters. With a very conspicuous hole in the top left of it. So ROGS changes, if I recall correctly, there's some changes to how the, the overhead dash punch works. Um, I feel like he got others like more damage or something. Oh, Ultra 2 is like an actual grab ultra, although he doesn't even have that, so it's not, not relevant. But we'll see if it looks like there's any difference. So far, pretty similar. Focus dash through. Oh, that's different. That can air EX Hurricane. It's not quite reuse in that it, you know, reuse stays still, but... If you recall, Ken's made for like excellent meaty pressure and escapes, but I guess not really so much now, at least not escapes. Maybe people find new pressure uh, as far as meaty goes. But that said, down in life is the Ken player. Oh, had a chance maybe for first DP, didn't go for it. And is he going to technical? No, he just goes for regular delayed, a regular undelayed wake up. Man, that's going to throw me off. Yeah, Ken looking for the Barog to overcommit. Not yet. I mean, Rog basically can just hang out. See if Ken over overextends. Like, no reason to try out too much. He's playing it well. 
On the chem player side, yeah, okay, so eventually it happens. On the chem player side, in that kind of situation, the opponent's willing to let you build meter and you think you're gonna lose anyway. It's like, fine, I'll let me throw fireballs, I'll build meter. Ooh! Now, if you have a soft knockdown, that's exactly the same in Ultra Street Fighter 4. Um, so I almost wonder if, for some things, having a soft knockdown is better than a hard knockdown. Previously, hard knockdown was always better. Because that meant that you could guarantee yourself you know, some kind of situation afterward. But soft knockdown was worse because the opponent could vary the timing. But now, since you can vary both timings, but the timing between delayed and regular get up on a hard knockdown is so short, and the time between uh, quick rise and regular get up for soft knockdowns is so big, I feel like soft knockdown might be better. Because with soft knockdown, you can do like a jump attack, see if the opponent didn't get up on a, on a quick rise. And then do another safe jump after that. A lot of, a lot of characters can do that. That actually might be better. Wow, he went in and he won because of it? Ken player, tisk tisk. Tisk tisk to you. Hey, you see Ken, uh, Kim down there? This is a pretty face. Popping up in the background. By the way, the, the quality of this thing, right? It's I think it's 360p. Um... That's like to be expected. I don't know how it is possible that Japan hasn't found the last five years of video capture technology, but somehow it has evaded their grasp. Oh, Jury? Dude, I'm so scared of Jury in this game. She's so good. Oh, it's Zangi! Much better. I'm stoked for Zangief in Ultra. I don't know who this is playing. I can't read that stuff. But uh, I watched a bunch of, e of Itazan matches where he saves all of his meter for EX green hand, red focus cancel, and to crumple into like super huge damage. It's really cool. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. And the jab, yeah, that thing is really fast and has meaty pressure. You know how Geef does like pile driver, then he does jab green hand to get close to you afterward? Now he has a lot more time after the jab green hand because it recovers, it starts up and recovers faster. Yeah, look at that! Look how fast that is! How much time he gets! Sweet! <laughs> kind of a... Oh, that was a sick whiff punish. Not much damage, but like, so sick still. That's a couple of bars. Maybe didn't need to spend... I mean, you gotta make yourself safe, but maybe didn't need to go in like that. Oh, yep. Neutral, jump, fierce. Just let it hang out there. It's a matchup that in early SF4 days seemed like it was wildly in Geef's favor, but as time went on, I feel like it's a match that Rog actually wins. Not by much. Pretty slightly, but I think so. I've talked with PR Rog about that. He, he agrees. Yeah, that's. So that was supposed to be. That was minus two in the beta, which was awesome. Because most characters can't punish that. But now, in, in the arcade release, it's minus three, the green hand. On, on hit, I mean. Uh, which means that it's not very useful for combos, unfortunately. Especially against a character who has, you know, great three-frame punish like Balrog does with those with those jabs. Oh, no, yeah, too far away for the red focus cancel. That's really good that he didn't waste the meter on that. He Obviously, you can still red focus cancel, but his, his focus stack actually will not reach from max range of the EX hand. Oh, wow, that's so crazy. But why would you do that? <laughs> okay. Oh, Deep did not want to press too hard. Here it is, though. 360 kick. Alright, alright. Get some big. Oh, that delayed wake up is so killer. See what I'm talking about? Give me soft knockdowns, please. Oh, don't like it. Yeah. He's just gonna, Geef is just gonna have to guess right, yeah. And he didn't. Probably looking for a jab hand over to Ultra 1. That had been e EX hand. Different story, but... Didn't want to bet the meter. So he loses. I'm definitely excited for that character. And Rog, I mean, again, I, I guess I probably should have brought up you know what the what the changes are, what the character changes are. Actually, I guess I'll do that right now. But I don't remember him getting like um, major changes. 
In the meantime, it's a Guile. Guile is a character who got so good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go nuts on it. Like I'm not gonna say he's the best character in the game, but I feel like he just, he had his problem solved and he got nice little buffs on top. Yeah, like I didn't expect. Like his Ultra One does really well against cross ups. It auto corrects really well. Uh, didn't expect that. Didn't expect for Crouching Jab to be plus 5 and for Ultra 1 to be a 5 frame Ultra, meaning he can link from Crouching Jab. I didn't expect that. Oh yeah, there's the there's the overhead that I guess is a little safer nowadays. That's cool. I like that change for Rog. Let him play a little bit more offensively. Not just a mid-range character. One of the most impressive things about seeing PR Balrog play is that he makes the character um, you know, more effective offensively. Because that's not necessarily easy. Making basically his game is counter hit or throw, but like his throw doesn't result in some crazy cami unblockable setup, right? It's just it's just the throw. So making that scary is not easy to do, but he does that. Uh, other guile changes. Tor Brownhouse hits the ground better. Uh, his he had this little glitch where when he got up, um, he was particularly susceptible to ambiguous cross-ups and unblockables. Wow, red focus on that? You just gotta bet it. I don't think you can hit confirm that. That's sick. I like that. Oh, five frames? No, not enough. Not enough. That would have been pretty crazy. So I'm going over the ROG changes now. Uh, light dash punch is minus one on hit rather than minus two. That's cool. Um, <laughs> there was actually a little exploit that I think not pe not many people knew about, but um, <laughs> it was really tough actually for him to make it safe against some characters, against command grab characters, because like if Hakan saw a dash punch coming at him, he could actually dash forward, get hit by it, and still and still punish. Uh, maybe that'll still be with Ultra One. I mean, maybe that'll still be possible, but uh, I don't know. A little safer at least. Yeah, the overhead's a little safer. Charge time is less. Anyway, there's a Vega on screen. Oh, turn turn around punch is a little bit safer. That's good. And Ultra Two is an actual grab Ultra. That's good. Vega is another character that. So in the in the betas, he had like these crazy changes. He was so good. But they took a lot of that stuff away. Most of that stuff away. But like people are worried about that. But dude, this character I think is really good. I feel like the the system changes are like the, he, like he's a big winner with that stuff most of this so far seems like it's pretty much just how he plays in you know, any sf4 game but uh we'll see if it comes up i really like delayed wake up for him his wake up sucks see if he yeah there's little, you see the little delay his, like any character whose wake up sucks and is susceptible to cross-ups and the, the like uh delayed wake up really helps them out and any character who has trouble dealing damage in the mid range, I feel like red focus really helps them out. If you have if you have three bars and you can do red focus cancel for Vega for people doing walk around walking around crouching jab stand roundhouse which, which links right into red focus cancel and that's super good because it gives you a crumple and then you can do a lot of damage out of it. If you have ultra that's great even if not the down toward roundhouse into flip kick thing that's gonna do a lot of damage. So he. He effectively gets to do more damage. And in, in previous versions, EX meter has been really, really important because that's how he deals damage, right? He like needs it for uh, for EXs on wall dive. Or, yeah, like EX wall dive, crouch and jab, crouch and jab, crouch strong, EX wall dive, that kind of thing. But now, if you can save meter for red focus instead, you can, you can deal more damage at once than he ever could before. Which I think is really good for him. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't even watch this this before. Okay, <laughs> just want to point that out. But doesn't that look good? Yes, it's three bars. But for him to turn a crouching short just now into that much damage, like that's that's new stuff, and it's really good. Today is very ultra. Today is. I really like that for him. Yes. So I like as a result, I'm glad that they didn't do all of the buffs that were in uh, the beta. 
because it would just have been too much, I think. I already think he's going to be a really good character. Yeah, his buffs are like Crouching Fierce, has more active frames, so presumably better as a as an anti-air. Um, the roll the roll is now out oh, plus five on oh roll to to FADC toward is now plus five instead of zero so I wonder if they did that so that like red focus combos out of it and I was super hits on the way up that's right that's right I, I feel like he does well against oh man see how that delayed wake up blows up setups like that. That, that's been a safe jump since 2008, but not anymore. Well, I mean, it can be still, but you have to guess that the opponent is going to do non-delayed wake-up. And I'm sure people will come up with particular setups for delayed wake-up, like little timings for it. But that's kind of a tell. Well, I don't know. Actually, as the opponent, you have to... You input delayed wake-up as you fall, like as your body is... As your back is hitting the ground for your, for your character. So like you can't, you can't like hit the ground, then delay got to be preemptive so you can't I guess you can't really see whether Vega is going to set up timing for delayed or non-delayed wake up yeah so now Vega has three bars which means he is very dangerous so got a character that people are talking about too as being really really good um, he doesn't have to deal quite as much with the vortex oh look at this Dude, his life started at half full. Where's it gonna end up? Okay, not, not crazy, but still, so much more damage than Vega could normally get in the mid range in footsies. But anyway, about Sagat, um, he doesn't have to deal with with Vortex as much because of delayed wake up, and so he's it's more about neutral game for him, and that's that's where he's good usually. And his stand light kick, I think, is cancelable now, if I uh, recall correctly, at, at like ranges where it wasn't before. I don't remember exactly. Oh, well, I guess I'll say. If only got a crouching jab there, that would suck. Yeah, let me bring up the, uh, the Saget changes. Oh, freaking EX Tiger Knee is zero on block instead of minus one. As a grappler player, that makes me mad because that means I can't punish it with Ultra Ones anymore. <laughs> it's like the only thing about uh, um, EX Tiger Knee. Like, that's like the only uh, reason for Sagat to be zero instead of minus one for him to be safe against command grabs, uh, supers, ultras. So it's just kind of like a frustrating change from my grappler point of view. But yeah, he definitely seems good. I think he, like, he does, I think, more damage in a way because Tiger Knee now forces Stan so it can combo into itself rather than sometimes doing the first hit and not the second. Um, he also does full hits of the Ultra One in the corner, which is really good. That deals more damage and it leaves the opponent cornered, which is really good for him. But it does less damage overall. Yeah, a little harassment. Yes, Vega. Dude, Vega is underrated, even in AE 2012. I'm not going to sit here and tell you he's some top 10 character, but he's pretty good. He's pretty good, I think. So he's up next. Again, you can see Kim down there in the bottom right. Former top CBS2 player. Oh, you're not. There's no way it's a con. Okay. Uh, back to the, to the ball. Uh. But yeah, uh, Kim, top CBS2 player, went to Japan, top dictator player in in uh, Street Fighter 4 series. He's been really good. And his character got better, so I'm, I'm sure he's pleased. Yeah, starting things off. 24,000s of BP against 23,000s. Ooh, he had meter. Ah, oh, dude, delayed wake up. For Vega, it's so good. Like, I just, I feel like it... Oh, link it? No, not quite. Uh, but wow, crouching medium kick recovered in time. That's, I wouldn't have expected. A delay wake up. If if a character doesn't have the best de like wake up defense and has great neutral game, I feel like that is like the character that is made to do well with delayed wake up. 
マイナス3じゃなかったっけ前のバージョンだったっけチップアウトあそうだったっけ I hope to see more of that move, the roll. He just like, really didn't see it very often. But now, if it's red focus cancelable and, and combos into red focus, then uh, you know, clearly there's a, there's a big use for it. Hey, see, I mean, I remember like, Vegas often having super meter in previous versions of the game, because if they didn't get hits for a while, they would just. I mean, that is to say, if they didn't use EX meter for a while, then they just like, didn't. Like, what can they use EX on? They're not going to do like, random EXs very often. It's only if you're actually getting these combos consistently. So for him to have a、uh, bar constantly and to have like good uses for red focus, like I, I really think that he is helped out. And Barog has not been able to get it. Oh yes, counter hit. He saw it. Goes for the grab reset. Nope. I don't really know how you make this comeback. Got to get. A couple of things right. Oh, the whiff. Is that safer? The low one? Let's see, let's see. Got my old sure you can post up. From front page of SRK. It's like literally in my saved my,、uh, my bookmarks at this point. Mm. And Rick Hitsu just said that、uh, he、Balrog. can't beat Ken. Because Kishiken just stepped on the machine. No. Let's see how this goes. I guess it's the same. But anyway, going to Ken. Ah, Ken is a character who got better. Let's, let's、uh, head over to Ken.、Uh, movement speed slightly increased. Close standing medium kick, the one that is plus a lot on, on hit. Very common counter hit setup for, for Ken. Now hits crouching opponents better. That's good. Crouching medium kick recovers faster.、Um, the roundhouse overhead is、uh, zero on block instead of minus one. Sweep is one frame faster, so it links off of standing jab. He's got a lot of stuff. Jeez, EX Fireball does more damage. Regular Fireball does more damage. What's up with these players using default colors?、Uh, Roundhouse Hurricane, start up one frame faster. Yeah, but I mean, it's not all buffs.、Uh, oh, that is,、uh, let's see, also, non cinematic Ultra 1 deals more damage, and Ultra 2 movement distance of first level frames slightly increased. But, you know, delayed wake up is not good for him, because he wants to have tricky cross up mix ups as you get up. Like, we've seen. He has unblockable setups and he has, you know, just really ambiguous setups too, but delayed wake up can, can kind of hurt that for him, which is a big part of his game. And as with lots of Dragon Punch characters, Dragon Punch FADC is now considerably less safe. It's minus five dash toward and minus who even knows on block. So that's not good for him. But all the other things, like, his buffs are like neutral game buffs, which I guess makes sense because the pressure is a little worse. Anyway. See how, how this Vega player consistently is saving super? Like, he knows if he, if he hits, like, a button. Oh, buddy. That sucks. That was, like, not the right button. <laughs> I'm, I'm still kind of sad for Vega that that whiffs over people. I think it would be stupid if it didn't whiff over it, like at any range, but from his max crouching strong range, I really feel like that should work. But like I said, I think he's a good character anyway. Just gotta know the range. Oh, yep.、Yeah. That's the good spot. And now he has three bars, and if he gets a hit, he's gonna, he's gonna end it. Oh, that was the. Dude, that even might have been it. And, like, that he might have wanted that to be. Ultra 2 instead of the flip kick. It's probably it, actually. It's probably what he was trying to do. Because that's a frame faster than it was before. Or maybe two frames faster? It's something like that. I think it's seven frame startup. In the beta, it was craziness. It was like fast enough to link from a crouching jab, I think. Or crouching medium kick, maybe. Yeah, one frame faster from eight frames to seven frames. Guile. So, I didn't really specify what Guile's changes are. Let's go over to the Guile section. Hurt box on wake up reduced. Yeah, that's the thing I was talking about where he was more susceptible to, to cross ups on wake up. His, there was a little glitch in his hitbox, in his, rather, in his hurt box.、Uh, air throw range is increased. Crouching jab is now plus five on hit instead of plus four. Crouching medium kick is, has farther range. 
uh, the toward roundhouse, you know, with like the upside down kick, the hitbox is expanded downwards and stupid, but in previous versions, it actually whiffed over a lot of characters who were short, like Chun and, Sa and Sakura. And Sa well, Sakura, I won't. Anyway, um, short characters. I mean, uh, all versions of Flash Kick Invincibility extended by one frame. Uh, Ultra One is now five frame startup. Does a little bit less damage, but uh, better. You know, beats cross ups at auto correct, stuff like that. Juggles better. Ultra Two does more damage, and all hits now connect on airborne opponents. So it actually, there's a reason for it. That's good. But it all sounds really good. And okay, the the nerf is that all versions of Sonic Boom t uh, get counter hit from frames 1 through 20. This is a nerf that he got back in AE, in original AE, uh, that uh, was kind of a reaction to him being really good in, in Super. And it kind of sucks for him because he has to be pretty judicious about the booms because, you know, you don't want to get counter hit. But I don't feel like that's going to come up too often for good Guile players. I don't feel like that's like a, a major problem thing. Just... Like, if you're susceptible to getting your booms jumped over and whatnot, then that's a problem for you, but, like, I don't I don't picture Dominion running into problems with that super often. The other stuff, though, I think sounds really good. Dude, like, m more damage effectively, better combos, so he's better on offense, the toward roundhouse pressure is better. Look at that, you see how this guy's trying it. Um, better defense, oh, Ultra 1, you can do it afterward. Yes! Oh, it even juggles better. That's pretty dumb. <laughs> so yeah, better better wake up defense. He does, he can have he can do delayed wake up, which is really good for him. I I feel like he probably has good like good red focus combos in the corner. Like if you do like toward roundhouse, then link it into stand fierce focus or red focus cancel into like ultra one or something. That's probably pretty good. But I don't know. I don't imagine that coming up terribly often. Who do we got? Kim, flying solo. Damn, dog. Sagat. I figure this is probably going to look pretty similar to how it looks in AE 2012. Mostly this mid range, mostly. Uh, yeah, mostly mid range. You know, Guile gets in sometimes, that's the goal. Scott wants to get in sometimes, but I don't like his his. As far as I know, Scott's pressure is the same. Just, he can do a little bit more damage if he's in the corner. But it. Actually, no. I think Ultra Two does more damage. Something like that. Yes, Ultra Two does full hits on airborne opponents, although the air hit damage is reduced from 384 to 309. So I don't know if that means it overall does more damage. <laughs> considering it does all its hits rather than before it only hit a few. Oh, Guile! Dang. Who is this guy? I guess he doesn't even he need uh, red focus. Okay, is there a setup? Probably not. A chip setup. Damn, what is red focus does, do, like, the actual hit itself does 50% more damage than a regular focus. But as far as scaling goes, it's exactly the same. It counts as two hits for the damage scaling formula. Just like regular does. Is it also minus five or is it minus four, like people have been saying? I remember watching a lot of Sanford and Dominion matches. Really cool. It's just like, I, it's a really interesting looking matchup. I always kind of had Guile as a backup character. No, not, not, not even like a tertiary backup character, but like he's fun to screw with sometimes. And uh, I'm always really impressed at people who can play well in the Sagat matchup. Uh, it's like good understand, understanding of, of when to set things up, when to approach, you know, what to use to approach, all that kind of jazz. We will get the Capri in the arcades the same time that you guys get console. Oh, that crouching jab. Oh, good focus is though, risky though, look at the life. Where's the, okay, finally. Cleared of the white. That dude, okay, crouching medium kick being better range. Like, I don't know about that. I feel like they should have learned the lesson after uh, Street Fighter 2 series Guile, where that crouching medium was so good, like in CE. Ugh. Now, that they did make it so that it's not just that the hitbox, like the hitting part of it, is, is farther. 
The hurt box is also farther, so it's basically just like imagine cutting his leg uh, in the middle and then just like adding on a couple more inches of bone in the middle, and his foot is exactly the same. It's like that's how it looks to me. But you can, I feel like you can see the range difference. Like he seems to be hitting Sagat in some situations where I, I don't. And I, you know, I'm no Guile main, but like I don't expect him to hit there. Before we are, because you guys, because Kamapin's giving you guys a location test all over America. Wants the distance. You ungrateful bastards. So you guys know much more about her nice than, uh, than I do. Ooh, 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 ooh. We have the mask, the Capri over here. Those setups are so cool. <laughs> Hitting somebody with projectile juggles from far away is always really satisfying. It's like good recognition of what's going on. I really like projectile games. Oh, is that gonna work? Is that in, in time? Yes. Oh, dude, dude he, mis he misplaced it. Or if you meant, it, meant to put it there, he didn't get any mix-up out of it. Nice. That said, though, Sagat doesn't. Yeah, he has no more meter now, so he's gonna have to worry about you Kyle bringing out EX Sting. Prognostication. Uh, uh, oh, he tried to focus. Plays. Nice. That's a really good throw in that us. case. Winter good read. Something. Follow him. He's also a big supporter of the community over there. It's a good Scott player. Plays all. If only I could read the names. Back in the day, I could read some, oh, but not anymore. Call. I really haven't kept up with it. We got a random girl that walked here with a mask on. So I can't. See I never knew about. what I was saying. That is to say, I didn't know hey, the meaning of things. Just hey. what the uh, little sounds made. What what sounds the letters made? That is to say, well, letters, quote unquote. Oh, the anyway. mask man. What the hell? Mac. Oh, I think that she's still good. Yeah, Actually, really good. There were some people who were a little worried about the fact that her Tsurugi, the the axe kick is now minus three on like lowest possible uh oh dude it just stopped okay that's right because it's in parts all right well i guess i'm gonna take a break too and then i'll come back with the next part